Yo, what is up guys, it's your boy Jelson here, and today, back in with a brand new NBA video, and in today's video, it's going to be a little different, and there might be a little bit of echo and stuff like that, but I'm going to try to get that all taken out in the editing process, but that's because I'm on the go, I'm up north, and I'm recording this audio through my phone, and I'll be editing it through my laptop, I don't have a mic, so this is the best I can do right now, and I wanted to make a video because something very special just happened in the crossover league, yeah, I'm talking about the crossover league, but this also relates to the NBA as a whole and the Minnesota Timberwolves. And as you saw, as the title says in the thumbnail, and it's going to be about Jaden McDaniels, a guy that has an extreme amount of upside and a guy that I've seen a lot of people hype about and a guy that, well, we see a lot, a lot, a lot more of the media starting to talk about him, which is very, very important for not only a small market, but also for a guy like him to, I wouldn't say gain confidence because I doubt he lacks any of it, but to see that his hard work is being noticed. And I want to talk about what makes him great and why I think he's going to be a future NBA All-Star. And to start off, I just want to talk about his defense because if you look at any highlight tape, you see his defense and you know that it's very, very good. And let me tell you, it's very, very good as you see in the highlight tapes. But not only is it very, very good, I want to explain to you why and go into detail why it's very, very good. And I said something similar about this in the Josh Minot video, and that's just something about his natural defensive positioning. And you may be like, well, what does that mean? Why does that make someone special and somebody else not as special? And I'll tell you right now, it's because some people just don't have the IQ and the natural instinct to defend at a high level and know what to do in certain situations. If somebody's attacking the basket, need to know what's happening if they're going off a pick and roll, pick and pop, what's going on, where they need to be at all times. Jane McDaniels knows what he's doing. Pretty much every possession, it seems like he's going to be the guy that knows exactly what's going to happen. And you could say D'Angelo Russell does that because he does a lot of the talking, but Jaden McDaniel knows it off the top of his head. He knows it right away. D'Angelo Russell says that to help guys like Carl Anthony Towns, but Jaden McDaniels has never really needed that help. When we didn't have D'Angelo Russell to help him with that, vo like that vocal side of things, he was still doing it at an elite level. And that's just the start of it, because he is so young, this will be his third year, same year with Anthony Edwards, he will be able to improve even further on the defensive end, which is very scary. He could end up becoming a defensive player of the year type of player, and learning with Rudy Gobert is going to be a very, very special scene to watch. I want to talk about why he's not just a glorified like Josh Okogie, and why he actually has a huge upside. And to start off, he has the physical tools to be even better than Josh Kogi was on defense, and he already is better than Josh Kogi on defense. But I want to talk about why he's better and has the tools and intangibles to become a great offensive player. And we can just look at some of the tape he has. You can see special, special moments where he's just crossing up players, and it's like, man, is this Brandon Ingram? Is this Kevin Durant? Is this like to those type of guys? And you're like, no, it's Jaden McDaniels. This man is special. He has the potential to become a Brandon Ingram type of player. I don't want to say Kevin Durant, but I would say Brandon Ingram is a good comparison. But Brandon Ingram was actually really good defense. Respect Brandon Ingram, of course. Brandon Ingram has improved on the side of the ball. But, you know, Jaden McDaniels, he is special on defense. And on offense, I could see him becoming a Brandon Ingram type of offensive player. The crossover, as I said, the natural shot. He, if you look at his stats, it's like 34% from three, which isn't great, but you watch him in like real life watching these games and you can tell this guy is going to be special. Not only just shooting from three, he can hit a mid range. I say his mid range is money. His mid range is his game on the offensive side of the ball and his post scoring has only improved throughout his career. So personally, I think Jaden McDaniels has the high upside to become a three-level scorer, along with one of the best wing defenders in the entire NBA. And this is very, very, very crucial for the Minnesota Timberwolves for us to keep him in the Rudy Gobert trade because Rudy Gobert, as much as people want to discredit him for what he did in the playoffs and what he did as a defender as, with the Jazz, he didn't have perimeter defenders. He just didn't. And Jaden McDaniels and hopefully Anthony Edwards can be that perimeter defensive help that Rudy Gobert really needs. That's why Jaden McDaniels will be special for the Minnesota Timberwolves. That's from the bottom of my Timberwolves heart that Jaden McDaniels is going to be special. He dropped 52 points in the crossover league, showing just about everything he can do. 
his handles improved much better handles and you watch his highlights from last year and you're like his handles are pretty solid i would say they're borderline elite now we'll see obviously what happens in october but i want to say his handles are legit at least from what i've seen his shot looks better than ever he's dunking on people more than ever which is something he did in the regular season but crossover man was on another planet he scored more points than paulo bencaro and had more rebounds which you know paulo ended up becoming you know the number one overall pick i'm not saying he's going to be as good as paulo bencaro even though it's a very 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 much possible i want to say that Jaden mcdaniels needs the respect from every single player and media member out there because it's very 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 obvious that he's going to be a special player in this league Year three coming for Jaden McDaniels. Thank you guys for watching. It's been your boy Jelson. And thank you guys for sticking up through my terrible audio. See you guys next time. Peace out.